Tin Kim Lam blogs at I'm Not the Nanny about raising biracial kids in a race conscious world. She is honest, heartfelt, genuine, and absolutely worth your reading her words. One truth about her, she is a recovering candy crusher. <laughs> it's not gonna last. I've been asked this question countless times throughout my 34 years of living in the United States. I was born October 1978. So if you do the math, it means I've been living in the US since I was born. Technically, that makes me an American citizen. <laughs> I even got a passport and says it. <laughs> so why do people feel compelled to ask me for my nationality? Why not my cultural background or my ethnicity? Why ask at all? Is it because I'm not Caucasian? Back in my fiery high school and college days, my quick retort would be American. Then I let the person flounder for a few seconds and then add, I was born in Louisiana. <laughs> Last night, I didn't even have the patience. I was already cranky because of the poor customer service I received at the fast food restaurant we were having dinner at. The bad customer service had nothing to do with my race or ethnicity, just folks who can't think outside the box. It was just my kids and I eating dinner as we waited for my husband to meet us after work. As we ate, a young employee, young is younger than me, but walked past her table a few times, giving us curious looks. Finally, she stopped at our table and offered us mints. I told her, no thank you, and turned my attention back to my kids. She hesitated and walked away. Seconds later, she turned around and dropped the question. What is your nationality? She must have been dying to ask me that for the last 15 minutes. I can't say I was nice to her, but I wasn't mean either. I only gave her my stock answer, American. Now this young lady is African American. Do you think people ask her what African country or Caribbean island she hails from? I would guess not unless she spoke with an accent, which she didn't have. Heck, I don't even have an accent unless you count my southern draw that makes an appearance after a few shots of tequila. <laughs> Answer changes like this make me angry. I'm sure this person was just curious and meant no harm, but meaning no harm does not mean it won't offend. I'm tired of having to explain that even though I have small almond eyes, light skin, straight black hair, that yes, I really am an American. Being asked for my nationality on the assumption that I'm not American assumes that all Asian Americans are foreigners, resident aliens. That's what we call non-natives, right? Aliens, like we have you know, three eyes and antenna. I'm considered an alien in my birth country, the only country I have ever known. No, I have never gone back to Vietnam. I can't go back if I've never been there. <laughs> yes, I only want to go there to eat the food. <laughs> the Chinese were one of the first Asian American immigrants when they became cheap labor for the Transcontinental Railroad. I'll bet even Chinese Americans who can trace their family that far back are still asked what country they come from. Remember the Japanese internment during World War II? Japanese citizens quietly hustled and transferred like cattle into internment camps because their ancestors were Japanese. No one locked up the Italians during World War II. We were, told that we were doing the same thing to the Japanese Americans that the Nazis did to the Jews. Back when I took history class in high school, that ugly part of the United States history did not even receive a mention. I wish I could say that how our society perceives race has evolved since I left my small Louisiana hometown 15 years ago. Actually, it seems we have regressed. Don't believe me? Rem remember the story about Seema Jelani's racist encounter at the White House Correspondent Dinner, where she was rude, treated rudely and refused entry because of her dark skin while um, lighter-skinned blonde women were ushered in with no problem. How many more years must Asian Americans live in the United States before we're no longer asked for our nationality? How many more generations before we're subconsciously accepted as American citizens? Every time someone asks us for our nationality, it's like a knife in the back. Sure, we can live in our country and become a famous chef like David Chang, a famous architect like Maya Lin, or an Olympic medalist like Michelle Kwan, but we'll never be part of your club. That's how that question makes me feel. 
I ask that the next time you're curious about a person's ethnicity or cultural background, think about how you word your question. Or maybe you don't ask at all. Maybe you get to know that person and you learn about their deep, dark secrets organically or with tequila, like we do with all our friends. Thank you. <laughs>